Mother Earth. Such a wonderful recycler, in my opinion. Because the water that might have been rain a few million years ago might be the water that you all are drinking right now. That's the beauty of Mother Earth's recycling system. But as humans, we have a lot to learn from. Because you see, we are not using stuff properly. Let it be water, let it be food, or energy. And if we don't solve this problem in the near future, we might run out of natural resources like coal and fossil fuels. But I realized this is only one side of the story because the world's pollution is growing more and more day by day. And I realized a lot of this is because we are not recycling stuff properly. So I knew that I as a person had to step in. Let it be any sort of waste. I knew that we had to recycle something because all of the greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide affect the Earth's atmosphere. And all of the, you know, waste and all of the pollution, they affect the Earth's soil. So this is where I stepped in and wanted to mark a difference. And that was how the idea of Engreen Tech was raised. Because one day, when I saw a broken gadget, a broken electronic gadget at home, I realized, why not I start something with electronic waste? I went online and searched more about it and saw a shocking fact. India generated more than 3.5 million tons of e-waste every year. And when I scrolled down, I saw polluted lakes and landfills of e-waste. And I was genuinely scared and shocked that day. The next day, I knew that I had to make a difference. So what did I do? I decided I'm going to start. First, I talked to all of my friends from my community and decided that we are going to host an e-waste drive as when I saw that day about e-waste, I was shocked. As soon as in, I invited all of my friends over, I sticked two A4 sheets and I started explaining my idea, like what e-waste was, as it was electronic waste and electric waste. Each and every person were having their own idea and were having their own thoughts to save the entire world, starting from the community level. And in the collection drive day, wow, it was awesome. Because in that day, as we anticipated, the first few houses we went in, people were like us. They did not know what e-waste was or where to deposit e-waste. So I knew that I had to generate a lot of awareness. And you know what the best part of the entire drive was? It was when I was approaching to old grandmas, old grandpas. They did not really understand what the initiative was, but they were still committed and they were also inspired. So they told Beta, Next day we will come and we will give you the waste. You know what? That made my day. Not only my day, but the entire core volunteer group. We were so excited. And at that end of the day, we were able to collect so much e-waste and make such a big difference. So we knew that we couldn't just stop there. And you know what we then did? We decided 
that this should happen to each and every single community in Bangalore. I started talking to my other friends from different communities to make sure that even they will collect e-waste and give this e-waste to a certified recycler who will recycle the e-waste. I talked to my friends. At first, they hesitated, but then later on, they got inspired. A few of them, they were scared at first because even they did not know what e-waste was and a few basics. But then over time, they were super confident of themselves. And at the end of the day, we were able to get a lot of e-waste from other communities as well. So to mark all of this progress, we decided to set up weekly meetings to make sure that all of the volunteers will know what we have done till now and what are our plans for the future. Just as all of this great stuff was happening, I realized Angry Tech back then did not have a name. So what did I do? A whole team decided for a name. We were thinking of nature, we were thinking of green, we were also thinking of e-waste through technology. So we came up with the name and green tech. It was great. And I knew that we weren't just collecting scrap, but we were creating the spark out of it, the leaders out of it. One day, when I again went to one of my weekly meetings with all of my other volunteers, I noticed the platform that could change everything. The Junicorns platform. It was a platform when they took 50 kids to the US and present their idea. And I realized Angry Tech exactly needed that because if we would get selected, we would get mentorship, we would have partners, and we would also have people who would give market access to us. So I grinded, I worked for hours, created my uh, PowerPoint presentation, and at the end of the day, I got selected and spoke at the Texas State University. And oh my gosh, it was great because all of the people were applauding me and they were encouraging me. And at the end of the speech, it was wonderful. It was like a whole crowd voting over me and I, I just couldn't feel the joy and like the experience I felt that day when I spoke. And I realized that Angry Tech was in for a scale up, a massive scale up. So what was the next thing I decided to do as soon as I came? An e-waste collection drive in my new school. When I first went to my school, all of my new friends did not believe in me and thought, no way this guy has his own company. He's just 11 year old and he's doing this just to gain friends. But no, with a bit of convincing, they got inspired and they joined Angry in Tech with a lot of motivation and inspiration. So he started talking to the principal and the principal agreed. So he started the plan. We knew that we are going to go to that class, this class to spread awareness on what e-waste was. We were going to speak in the morning assembly and we were going to do a lot of stuff. And at the end of the day, in the collection drive with all of the volunteers, for every bit of e-waste we got, the volunteers with full joy were excited and were happy. And at the end of the day, we were able to collect a new high of e-waste. But just as this, all of this happiness was going on, I spotted a problem. Slowly, Angry Tech was becoming boring because it was the same repetition.
repetitive process and people weren't inspired anymore and when a few volunteers left oh dear that was the alarming sign for me and i knew that this was the time that i as a ceo had to step in through resilience i asked them why and they told they was just simply too bored of angry in tech and when again i was swimming by uh, when i was sitting by the swimming pool laying my legs my friends told me as a ceo now it's your responsibility that you will make this happen and that you will find the answer for these tough times so i went home and started brainstorming for ideas and thought why not i start my own incentive system so people were like a very excited and i realized now i was i was creating leaders who could change the entire generation because aradya who was once scared to collect e waste in her community now spoke to a principal spoke to me and that we should do a collection drive in her school she pro- she proposed the idea to her principal and her principal agreed or suhit who was once scared to even collect e waste in his community as well but over time he developed his leadership skills and now he admits that he is proud of himself that was the reigning motivation of angry in tech we were creating leaders and we were in this collecting scrap because with a bit of curiosity people ask questions like does this gadget have a second life and where does a gadget go after this and with a bit of compassion they act for it and they try their level level best to make a difference and you know what else i noticed angry tech was going better than ever because we collected one ton of e waste made 15 core volunteers with hundreds of volunteers and made a whole lot of difference but i also realized that we were focusing on the un's sdg goals because we were focusing on educating children about leadership we were trying to make people we were trying to make cities more sustainable and cleaner we were making consumption and production more responsible and we were taking action on climate and you know how i got to know that because i was invited to the sdg summit as a panelist member today students are becoming better leaders than ever in angry in tech because fearless campaigns after campaigns from speaking in the biggest of stages to the smallest of stages from various types of audience all of the angry in tech volunteers have stood out with different backgrounds but with one vision to save the entire planet and become the heroes of it so to all the children who are not letting their age defy them hats off to you because there is nothing in this entire world to be scared of by your age because i think it's not only about e waste there are so many other problems as well even i could name a few bio waste plastic waste and what not all you need is a curious mind and a compassionate heart and now to all the ceos cxos parents and everybody else let us start thinking about a future and trying to make it better because i think this is the right time and to those who have already started it's great because even the smallest of changes can make the biggest of impacts in my opinion maybe what you can do 
You can spread awareness about your community that e-waste is hazardous and dangerous. Maybe you can collect e-waste from your house and also spread awareness to your workspace and other stuff as well. Or maybe even to your local friends. I think we have it all. So the next time you see a child with curiosity asking questions, like where does a gadget go after this? And does this gadget have a second life? Please don't let him just stop there. Because I think he can make a whole revolution out of it. And finally, let's not just let the next generation live on Earth, but let's make them live with Mother Earth. Thank you, and have a nice day ahead.